half flight. Oh, half light. All right. I'm ready for a thrilling adventure, baby. I feel like this is cell shaded Rugrats. It reminds me of that art style a little bit. Mom's got little T-Rex arms right there. What's up, Gary? Man, this guy is fucking blazed. What are we looking at? Sugar cubes? What the fuck is going on in this village? Everyone's hypnotized. All of the good citizen snails have just been fucking lobotomized out here. Staring at the sun. Yeah, I don't know. This shit looks straight out of Monsters, Inc. Man, I feel like we're really out of place in this neighborhood. It's nothing but snails. And then a normal boy. Are these children or... God. The ecology of this place is confusing me. So there's normal snails as I know them in the real world. And then this horrifying nightmare of a thing. Oh, this guy's hitting some graffiti. This, guy, this guy's pretty fucking cool. Maybe you're- oh, shit. I didn't know those were bad guys. I thought they were like the snails. What are those? Clearly park rangers. What, are your eyes closed? You've never seen a park ranger before? Shit. Going all the way to the salty splatoon out here. Splatoon, excuse me. I actually really like the aesthetic to this game. I never expect to find anything of quality going through Steam's new releases, but this has a nice coat of paint on it. It is pleasant to look at. Interesting art choices. This reminds me of Little Nightmares. If it got butt fucked by Borderlands. Oh, this dude is definitely the nerdiest snail of them all. No doubt in my mind. This is my uncle? Ah, so I, I didn't recognize you. Must have been hitting the gym. Maybe this all really is in his head. Like, maybe Mushing, or excuse me, Jixing actually did get into his mom's, like, LSD or something. So this is how he's experiencing the world right now. Because if this is my uncle, we look nothing alike. So, I don't know what's gone wrong with, like, the genetic line here, but something's very different between us. This thing does not look like a chicken, it looks like a peanut. If it was drawn by a tumbler. <clears throat> Perfect! We can feed this to the cashier. And then we can get a poke present box for free. No, he's definitely not passed out, he's dead. A hundred percent. You fed him rat poison. Do I give it to my- do I feed it to my uncle? I mean, my uncle looks like the kind of guy that eats rats. And diddles. Bye bye, Uncle Away. This store just got a whole lot safer now that my uncle's gone. Okay, let's see. I'm pretty sure this has to do with this thing I picked up. Yeah. But, uh, what, what's danger- what's the dangerous ones? Are V's dangerous? That's a good point, Peter. Yeah, I fed my uncle a poisoned rat. So I'm pretty sure I killed my uncle. It was V... I keep pressing E to move to the right. <laughs> That's the third time I've done that. I can't really tell what corresponds to what, man. Unless the V represents... Oh, like maybe this is a V. Is there two of these? No, there's only one of these. You know, this is a pretty complex puzzle. So, one of the O's had a dash going to the left, but I don't see a single one of those. This is the closest I see to that. Ah. Is this the tunnel to heaven? Hey, Mushin! Oh god! Oh, I was actually supposed to avoid that. It's like an angler fish using my brother as bait. Ah, French horn, just what I was looking for. That's what I was being chased by, a slimy French horn. That thing just looks like Kay's cooking. Doesn't even really look like a monster. 
Hey, don't look behind you, Mushin. You know, all things considered, Mushi is pretty calm. Given the situation here, he's even smiling. As he's surrounded by, like, fucking pinworms behind him. It looks like the old septic tank's backed up. On a scale of 1 to 10, how scary is this game? If you have a phobia of snails, this shit's gonna scare the shit out of you. Oh, I've been jump scared! By uh, an angry tree. No, God! What a bastard! Man, this looks like the actual DVD cover to One Missed Call. That is exactly what One Missed Call looked like. Lips, snail shell, sun with eyelashes. 26 shells. 3 shells, so 2, 9. So, 2, 9, 3, I think. I'm pretty confident in 293 being the last few here, so it'd be... Well, it's definitely 29. There's 29 shells. So that's gotta be the middle. Because it goes... What was it? Yeah, eye, shell, eye... Er, lips, shell, eye. So shell would have to be 29. Three eyes? Did I miss... Oh, yeah, there's one more. Ah! That was also my original setup, by the way. I had started with three eyes. We came full circle. Recount the shells. Okay. That's not an eye. Do we count my own eyes? God damn it. Ah! I actually, yeah. I wouldn't have thought to count my own eyes. Counted my own mouth, but not my own eyes. It didn't register with me. Oh, I need to turn it into a snail, I bet. Everything in this game is about snails. Oh, hey! The easy puzzle. They need to make the puzzles harder. I understood that the second I looked at it. I already sniffed out the solution. I bet that puzzle takes lesser gamers hours to crack. Where are we? The dentist's office? Is this all just a trick to get us here? Fill a cavity? Is this part of the puzzle? Blue, green, red, yellow. White. Yeah, that can't be a coincidence. That's all the colors of the keys. Oh, they're getting real riled up. The developer definitely just made these noises with his mouth. Sounds like Banjo-Kazooie voice acting. Holy shit. Uh... Do they all have to hit at the same time? Yes. Wow. Shit. White, blue, green, red, yellow. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, they- Oh! Oh, they only have to touch in that order. Oh. Oh, I thought I had to get them all to touch at the same time. Oh. I get it then. Yeah, it makes sense. Nope, I fucked up. No, there we go, there we go. Fixed. Saved. No! Oh, I didn't see red! Fuck! I'm tunnel visioning! Well, this is not easy. These puzzles. Fuck, man. They're really giving me the what for right now. There. Okay. Now we're in business. Oh, this was so much cleaner. Perfect. First try. Actually, not an easy puzzle. I've never seen a puzzle like that in a game before. That was interesting. Be free! Oh, shit! The birds turned on him. Eat it. Take his spirit with you. Well, what do you mean, how did he turn out like this? He got fucking blasted by birds. We, we saw it happen. It's not a matter of how, it's just a matter of, damn, that sucks. I have a sneaking suspicion Mushi is not dead. It wasn't his arm. 
We're gonna get a DNA test. It's gonna turn out to be Uncle Away. Ah! See, it is Uncle Away. He's gonna be missing an arm. Is that Uncle Away? I can't tell. He's having like an acne flare up. He looks like one of Davy Jones' crew members. Hello? Ah. A real artiste. Well, that's unlucky. That is the last place you want to pass out. That dude is definitely copping a feel. Okay. A jar containing brown residue. Dude, this is a fucking game where he's shitting into a bucket. I have to fill up his shit bucket. Or empty it, excuse me. What a terrible side quest. <gasps> hey, uncle! Do you want to eat this shit bucket? Dude ate a poisoned rat earlier. So I'm looking for pork, chicken, and fish. Oh, it's also on the plate. Oh! They're hoarding the chicken. Right, get the fuck away. Save some of that dirt for us. This doesn't seem like a very hard puzzle. Oh, wait. I need to make purple. That's probably why the arrow is purple. But that's not purple. It's so delicate. Uh, yes. There we go. I'm a fucking genius. What? That wasn't purple? What makes purple? Isn't it blue and red? Or, oh, well, I, I hit green too, didn't I? Yeah. There it is. That's, that's perfect. There we go. She's eating my hard work. Alright, thank you, bitch. There it goes. My purple coconut that I worked so hard to get. Well, let's see if I can find your sky fortress, I guess. What is this game about? Finding my brother. Obviously, what, you can't tell? Uh, you pick it up. What's happening? Oh, I have to mimic the sound I just heard. That was the sound, right? Make the sound again. Okay. I think I have it. No? Son of a bitch! Okay, okay, I've definitely got it this time. Hey, Joe. Okay, hold on. There it is. What's up, pussy boy? Yeah, I played your song of storms. Give me that fresh meat. Thank you, Mr. Pig. These fucking puzzles are really interesting. These are not just like copy and pasted puzzles. I Like, this is all pretty unique shit. I expected this game to be a big stinker, because that's what I expect from every game on Steam new releases, but... This bad boy's got some passion and some surprises in here. This is pretty good. Yeah, this is the first boss battle of the game right now. Just whack a mole in here. Alright, that should be the last one. Those are the three foods of the god. The gods. Like, that looks like a puzzle in and of itself. Like, I have to set my nutsack on it and weigh it against the, the corn over there. Oh, this is a puzzle too? Jesus, even setting the food down is a puzzle? Let's see, whoops, that seems right. The butterflies don't mean anything, so I've tried right, left, right. Because that's what the butterflies look like. Well, not really, there's four. So that can't be it. Left, up, down. Okay. Ah! Well, I guess if you have them both facing the painting and the fish isn't facing the painting, that would be how that worked. 
Now that's not yellow paint, my friend. We call that a golden shower over here. Ah, oh, never mind, it's the old chocolate starfish surprise. What is that, the almond monster? They're jellyfish fishing. That was outlawed 20 years ago. It's kind of fucked up, man. All this because he just wants to get his brother's arm back because the painter's using it as a paintbrush. What a wild ride. And he's giving me his cum sock now. What a nice guy. I don't even know why Zishue even cares about getting his brother's hand back. He's just totally accepted his brother's been mutilated and now he's just collecting body parts. I mean, I just say fuck it. What's the point? Ah! So that's the problem, eh? I need to get him a snail shell. That gluttonous bastard. Do I like flaming Hot Cheetos? Not really. Who's fucking shooting up the block? Lost a lot of good soldiers on this one. Damn, they're getting fucking blasted out here. Get the fuck out! God, I can hear the fucking Apache helicopter above. Don't worry, I'm putting it into this right now. I'll appease the war gods. <clears throat> See, he loved it. <clears throat> That's a good question. Worshipping Satan out here. I thought maybe this is what I was praying to, but clearly not. Why would you sleep on top of this corpse? Man's taking a look at a dead pickle Rick and then says he's gonna get sick sleeping there. Obviously, it's covered in sewage and it's a dead body. That wasn't what exactly what I was thinking when I was investigating this was, ah, it looks like a great place to take a nap. Ah, oh, the paint changed colors. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have counted that out immediately. I thought it'd be more noticeable. That was worthwhile. There. In the war now. Mission complete! Mushin's fine now, I have both of his arms. Oh god! Is he protecting me? That's so cute. Don't be a hero, snail overlord, please, no! Don't do it! So he's the general. What the fuck? No! The cavalry's here, they're dogfighting! I think it's pretty clear. To a certain degree, this is all about war, right? Like, we can all pretty much see that now. I don't know what the snails symbolize, though. Maybe every soldier slowly moving to their death at the command of... I don't know, that snail painter? Oh, God! It's Shinron going to make a wish. This is a fucking beautiful game, actually, man. I really like it. Hey, Uncle Away! I wonder what he symbolizes. I feel- Oh, I- wait! Jackpot! Mushin! Come back, please! I already have two of your arms. No! Ah, uh, the Underminer. This game very clearly has like a deeper message it's trying to convey and I haven't pieced it together yet, but it's clearly revolving around war and guilt. I think those two are pretty clear. Or maybe I'm wrong and it truly is just about snails and his brother being kidnapped by ravens and birds and now he's collecting his arms and Mr. Potato heading him back together, I don't know. But it seems like it's trying to be a bit deeper. Is it Peter? So this comes from Taiwan developers? 
So, oh, so it is making a statement about, okay. Okay. Interesting. That's very interesting. So the, the plot's starting to reveal itself. It started as just chasing my brother through a snail town. And now it's literally about, like, the invasion of Taiwan. This is, this is getting deep. This is getting real fucking deep. <laughs> On the surface, it just seemed like a LSD adventure, but this is, this has got a message in there. Aha, uh -huh, so we've been playing as the dead brother the entire game. But why snails <laughs> and birds? What significance do those have? Oh god! The snail menace is taking over! <laughs> Fucking transformed into Ammonite from Pokemon, or Amistar. Uh oh, I think they're on to us. They can smell that he just shit his pants. Maybe they'll mistake it for bad cooking. We got lucky. Now let's chase them out. Hold on. I'm fighting my own battle right here. Calm down. Mushing's fine. Jesus. Right now I'm under attack by... Nope. Not Did she hang herself? That's kind of what I thought happened there. I think that's what it was alluding to. And this is a sea of gold. Obviously a throwback to the Hobbit. Where Smog, I believe that was his name, was said to sleep for thousands of years. This is not what snails look like though, right? This looks like... A tuba shitting out someone's intestines. It's a very interesting artistic choice to depict a snail. Okay. So before I forget, I do want to read that because I think this guy's probably got it right on the nose. Japan invaded Thai in World War II. China got Taiwan after World War II. They slaughtered the population for almost 40 years. Birds eat snails. Snails are pests in Thai. So that is their interpretation of the game thus far, and I think that's actually probably close to what they're getting at. Maybe. I don't know history that well, but at least with the birds eating snails, that makes sense. I don't know, but the game's pretty fucking good, Sack. Like, even setting aside, like, the actual message it's delivering, the game itself is pretty fucking good. Because I don't really know the me I don't know the message, and I don't really understand it, because I don't know the history of it. But the game itself is interesting. I just genuinely can't believe we found an actual decent game going through Steam new releases. That is the first time that's ever happened. What are, what are we cooking up here? Some radioactive sewage? Yeehaw. So it looks like I start in snail. So snail, straight ahead is crow, left is fish, right is pig. Every other game that we play through Steam new releases is such an entertaining pile of shit, but this is just an entertaining good game. This is a very rare anomaly from Steam new releases. This looks like a boss battle. Now we fight the King of Snails. No! Oh. I was a little slow on the reaction there, I didn't know. Run, Mushin! Fuck, wrong way. Like, goddamn. I'm a little confused on what exactly happened to Away. I think him fading out and talking about atoning for his sins hints at him killing himself because he couldn't live with being a traitor and it got his wife killed, maybe? Because that's what he was talking about with his sins with his wife, the one he loved or whatever. I don't know. That was fucking deep. No, I'm definitely not looking too deep into it. I'm just scratching the surface. Shit was good. That was actually really good. Rated out of 10? I'd give that a solid 8. Its biggest shortcoming was a lot of its puzzles consisted of just wanders or aimlessly wandering around looking for an interactable. But when there were real puzzles, they were really unique. I had never played any puzzles like the ones I played in here. Ever. It was actually really good.